are made specifically for Disney News. We have tons of stories to bring you, so we're going to do just that. First story, Ariel's Undersea Adventure. It's been long reported that this ride was going to go through some major maintenance in order to fix up some of its lackluster scenes that guests have been complaining about for quite some time. A majority of the ride will be reverted into Chef Louis' kitchen, the long-awaited scene that everyone wished was in it from the very beginning. In order to do this, you'll be saying goodbye to the Under the Sea scene and the Ursula's Grotto scene in order to replace it with Chef Louis Kitchen. To save money, there is talks that they will be reverting the aerial animatronic into Chef Louis, so that, that ought to be fun. Honestly, the Chef Louis scene is really what puts the entire movie together. I don't see how the attraction could have survived without it. So, we're glad to say goodbye to some more lackluster scenes for the most important scenes of the movie. Our next story takes us to Disney Springs, where a certain park celebrity has decided to pop up. That's right, the sea serpent from Disneyland Submarine Voyage has appeared at Disney Springs in Florida. Now, why he's there, no one can figure out, but what we do know is... There were no survivors. Moving on to the next story, Dr. Nigel Channing of the Imagination Institute at Epcot has just reported that they have lost imagination. Now, how exactly you lose imagination is a big shock to us, but apparently Figment quit and walked out with it. They are still looking for Figment, and authorities have the permission to shoot on sight. So please, if you see this public menace, don't be afraid to report him. He has done crimes against humanity. And now for some live park updates, we go to Jocelyn. Jocelyn, how is it doing in the park? It closed. Thank you, Jocelyn. Returning with a new name, Disney is reportedly in talks with famous Italian Tony Shalhoub about replacing the name of Luigi's Rollicking Roadsters with Tony Shalhoub Presents Luigi's Rollickin' Roadsters. This is most likely due to Tony Shalhoub's rising stardom from his hit holiday album, Tony Shalhoub Presents A Honkin' Halloween, A Passion Project. Fans everywhere are rejoicing. Now for some sadder news, we take you to It's a Small World at the Disneyland Park. There has been a reported coronavirus outbreak on the ride, and of the 240 animatronics, 79 have reported symptoms of the coronavirus. Two have died. For our next story, we take you back to California Adventure, where it looks like a fan favorite is returning. That's right, Monsters, Inc. Mike and Sully to the Rescue is closing in June to be re-replaced with Superstar Limo. These are a few of our reactions. Now there's a familiar face, <laughs> down from that billboard. And now for a more bizarre report from Animal Kingdom. It seems as though the animals have started retaking the park with the lack of park attendants. So that means that we are having meet and greets with the Bengal Tigers set up in front of Cali River Rapids. But we ask you, please don't pull on its tail like Tigger. Thank you. Coming up next on our program is Cooking with the Phantasmic Dragon. We thank you for sitting in with us and we hope that you enjoyed Disney News Hour, the only hour made specifically for Disney News. Thank you.